Dear Santa, this year I only want three things. I snapped my Okuma Salilo rod the other day while steelhead fishing, so I could really use a new one of those. Wow! Santa, you're the best. Thank you so much. I really love this rod. And Santa, something else I could really use would be some fresh bait. Whoa, and look at that. Some cured tiger prawns? Santa, you're just amazing. Now in Santa, this last thing is something every boy and girl has always secretly wanted for Christmas. And I'm going to ask you, will you go fishing with me? Okay, we are in the van. Santa's with us. We've got the kayak with us today. I am currently wearing a wetsuit, which uh, I'm realizing is going to suck for the next uh, hour drive that I'm going to be wearing this. But uh, you'll understand why we need it uh, here in a second. So, see you guys there. Stop sign! Ah, oh, made it. All right. Uh, guys, we're uh, yeah, we took the wrong turn here somewhere. I'm not a not a city person. I get lost in Seattle. Now, guys, we're in a part of town where uh, even the most broken down piece of shit house will sell for about one and a half million dollars. And the roads here are crap too. It's like literally like a third world country. And uh, this is Seattle, Washington, one of the most expensive places in the United States. Interesting. We have arrived! Now we just gotta turn this uh, yellow banana van around here. Let's see, I'm sure we can do that right here. There we go. We got our chance. It's the one nice thing about giant uh, E250 vans is the turn radius is phenomenal. Just kidding, it's, it's not. There might be a chance that uh, we need to go somewhere else. Well, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at how accessible this here is for the kayak. Oh, sh**. <laughs> Do you guys see those people behind me taking photos? Everyone was talking a second ago that there's supposedly orcas out here somewhere. So, uh... I don't know, I've seen a video on YouTube of a kayaker getting like body slammed by an orca. I think they're awesome creatures, but I don't want to be body slammed today. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Here's what I'm thinking guys, just to launch the kayak, I'm gonna get all this other stuff out of the way. This is not gonna be fun. I'm sorry kayak, I do not mean to scrape you across rocks. I thought this would be a little easier. Oh, how are we going to do this? Okay, so far so good. So far I can't complain. So this thing weighs about, whoa, about 100 pounds, guys. 100 pound kayak. It's like a little person that I'm 
putting down in the water. Oh yeah, no, this is working. This is working. Worried about it for nothing. Oh yeah, this is probably the part where I would tell you to subscribe if you are brand new to the channel and to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And you're probably wondering whether or not I'm going to fall in now. All right, this time we are actually off. Oh, yes. Okay, that feels good. Feels good to get away from those rocks. All right, so we got a head of ways out there, which sucks for me, but lucky for you guys, there's cutscenes. All right, guys, we made it. We made it. It's the first time actually I realized that my kayak has ever seen salt water. It's also the first time that my, my phone and its leather case have seen salt water, so. I hope they'll be okay, but we're gonna gear up now. Santa is so kind to have joined us today, and um, he's gonna go swimming. Uh, in case I go swimming, I am wearing a wetsuit. Uh, this is actually like, it's way too thick for uh, this purpose even, so it will also act as a life jacket, uh, which is nice, especially if you're in cold water. Santa is on the fishing line. He is now a slip float. And we are going to be fishing deep this time. We're going to fish really deep. So let's go ahead and uh, rig this all up here. I hope that you guys can see it. This here is actually uh, my perch rig uh, that we used in my surf perch fishing video. Uh, so it's essentially just two uh, little hooks here, barbless um, with a little weight on the bottom. So I, I haven't even floated Santa. Let's give Santa his very first float and see if the weight to flotation ratio works. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is so exciting. Look at him. He just looks so happy down there. He's right in his element. So for bait, what we're going to start with is this shrimp here that Santa was so kind to give us for Christmas. A little early present from him. So let's go ahead and pull out one volunteer. So we'll cut off just a couple little pieces. All right, guys, I'm extremely excited. Santa is uh, right here in front of me, hanging on my line. We're all rigged up. What we're gonna try and target today is gonna be uh, either perch, uh, maybe a kelp greenling. That'd be really cool if we could catch one. Uh, otherwise, you know, there's probably flounder down there too. Uh, and maybe sharks. Guys, that, that'd be kind of cool if we caught a shark as well. But everything else is pretty much closed down. There are some absolute monsters down here underneath me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, hopefully we do not hook into one of those. Those early subscribers of mine that have seen that video, you know exactly what's lurking down here. And if you have not seen that video yet, that might be a fun one for you to watch uh, after you are done watching this one. But let's go ahead and lower the line and uh, see what happens. Santa buddy, let's do this. Oh, he's sitting there so innocently, has no idea what's about to happen. All right, guys, Santa's bobbing way back there. Uh, we are drifting in the wind here pretty good, so we're going to have to, I don't know how we're going to fish him yet. I might just paddle back to him every time, or, but right now he's going out. So we haven't caught any fish yet, but you know what's cool is the Santa bobber is working, like, amazingly well. <laughs> he's bobbing just right. That's what I was hoping, is that just his head would stick out of the water and uh, not sinking, so it looks like we were able to seal it quite well. Oh, what was that? Oh, oh, is something going for Santa? Oh no, Santa just got tangled. Oh no, we don't want him tangled. Oh, oh. Oh, guys, I thought I saw Santa go down for a second. Did you guys see that too? Oh, oh, it's a Santa down! Santa down! Come on up, what did we get? <laughs> oh, I can't believe this worked, guys. That's so satisfying. Oh, 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 okay. Guys, check this out. This is a, um, <laughs> this is a rockfish. So they are, uh, you can't keep these in the sound. So we're gonna treat it really nicely here. That's why uh, you gotta have barbless hooks is for, you know, sensitive species like rockfish and uh, salmon. 
<laughs> Santa down, baby! <laughs> oh, look at him though, he's beautiful. So see, it's barbless hooks, the hook just comes out easy like that. And check out this gorgeous fish. Look at this little guy. So we're gonna make sure he gets right back in the water, hold him for a second so that he's all right. And uh, then he should swim right off. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, Santa, you caught your first fish. This is gonna be a great Christmas. Man, look at that sunset. This is unbelievable. What a gorgeous day here in December. And honestly, it's not that cold. I mean, this wetsuit is keeping me nice and warm. But uh, one thing about the Puget Sound is it like kind of keeps the uh, temperature around here somewhat regulated. So it never gets brutally cold in Seattle. How are you doing, buddy? Those fish leaving you alone down there? All right, guys, Santa is way back there. And if you guys want to see more videos off of this kayak, like loaded with action, feel free to watch the videos below. One of them is a DIY bobber build to catch. The other one's a massive king salmon that I caught under a city bridge. So I hope that you guys enjoy them.